Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, readings, everything about readings, uh, personal uh, reading information, also social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And just a shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Those that reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as in a tip or donation to the uh, channel. I was gonna say to the planet. Where well, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> to the channel. Uh, it's very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. All your support really means a lot to me and I really do love to do this for you guys. So any support you like to show the channel to help it grow would be greatly greatly appreciated even if it's just a like subscribe or a comment anything would help and I truly truly do appreciate it for you guys all right thank you okay Scorpio what do we have for Scorpio first half of September I just did your love reading so this is your general reading I will read it as a general reading but if you can fit it into a love or relationship type of setting you're more than welcome to do that. You fit it into however resonate, however it resonates for you. That's how you fit it into your scenario. But I will read it uh, as general as I can. All right. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on with Scorpio? First half of September. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what we get. If this does not... Um, resonate with you that's totally fine this is sort of like a little extra bonus all right so what do we got for scorpio spirit please first half of september what kind of energy may be around them affecting them oh a sagittarius so some of you may have a sagittarius around you in some way shape or form friend family member co-worker could be a partner um or you could have sagittarius heavily in your chart somewhere or you can know somebody that has uh, Sagittarius heavily in their chart. And that's so funny because you're a Scorpio and then Sag. Well, you do come in order. It's usually Scorpio and then Sag. So eight, nine. Hmm. All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. The first half of September. First half of September. What's going on with Scorpio? First half of September, Spirit, please. What's going on with Scorpio? First half of September. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What's going on with them? Spirit, please. Wow, that's just way too many. That's just way too many. One card for Scorpio. Here we go. Adult children. Oh, okay. So something going on with your adult children right about now around this time for some of you that do have adult children or maybe you are the adult ch child now um i don't know i'm just getting the the message that maybe you're the adult the adult ch child now and now you have the responsibility some sort of added responsibility now um whether it's over your parents of some way shape or form or just some sort of added responsibility due to a family circumstance because either you are an only child or you're the oldest child or that you're the more more um if i could speak you're the most responsible child i don't know different messages there so i don't know, take it how it resonates self-care wow so and i was getting that message of Maybe now you have to take on responsibility for your parents if they're older and now you have to provide care to them in some way, shape, or form. And it's like an added responsibility to you now. Or this is telling you if you are the only child and you have a lot that you have to do within your family, you need to take some time for yourself and care for yourself so you don't get run down. Because sometimes it's the caregiver who get sick and run down before who they're caring for. 
So I don't know, we got leaving there, but I don't see how that fits into uh, any kind of situation here. But if that resonates with someone, if there's something about leaving, um, I don't know. This is leaving a situation, leaving something no longer serving you. Uh, just leaving something here, person, place, thing. Uh, could be a job. I don't know. Taking care, care of yourself. And then under that we have, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Leaving heavenly signs. Some of you might have just lost a parent. And maybe they're trying to show you signs from above that they're okay. They're at peace. It's a very peaceful card here. So some of you may, and maybe they were a Sagittarius here. Uh, and uh, maybe now they uh, it was their time to leave. Uh, maybe they could no longer care for themselves here in some way and I think um, oh and under that grief work exactly so I'm getting this, getting the message here for some of you might have just lost a significant person in your life whether it is a parent or or it could it be even an older sibling or something of that nature and now you're processing through this grief work so yeah wow Okay. Oh, and maybe just you and you know your other siblings are having to deal now with um, maybe the loss of a parent here or somebody really special in your life. Oh, I'm sorry if that was the case for some of you. All right, or maybe some of you even unfortunately have lost a child and it could have been a, an adult child. If it's not apparent. Oh, I'm feeling like heavy, heavy loss and sadness. Oh, okay, Scorpio. 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 Okay. So I feel like this is a certain message reading, probably for a certain individual or even one person. And I'm hoping and I'm hoping. Whoever this is for, they get to see it. And I just saw a card in reverse, but oh well. All right, so let's get some clarity here. What's going on with Scorpio? King of Swords. So now this is air energy, and this is a very, you know, this could speak of a very fatherly figure also sometimes. So maybe it was a, um, a male figure in your life here. And you see, you know, very, it looks very sickly, like around his eyes to me. Um, somebody who's very, was very truthful, I feel, a very truthful, honest person. Um, air energy here. So let's get more energy. Um, why the King of Swords is here. Or that just could be your, maybe you're sitting in this energy, could be male or female, of being very, um, I feel like, defensive and really standing up for yourself in this circumstance in some way, having to stand up for certain beliefs, uh, stand up for yourself, um, speaking with truth and clarity, cutting away things not serving you or your situation or whatever's going on here, um, just having a lot of truth and clarity about something. I don't know, so let's get more. Oh, well, let's take this one. Oh, they want it to spin on me. Okay, it was that way. All right, let's get one more. One more for you, Scorpio. All right, so now we have the Eight of Wands. And... The Six of Wands, wow. So we have the Six and the Eight of Wands. So the Six of Wands talks about success and victory and the Eight of Wands is about communication. And the King of Swords here is somebody who um, who speaks clearly, has a lot of truth and clarity, is not afraid to say it like it is, it's stand up for themselves. And this is like the passionate uh, kind of energy and I don't mean like, you know, I just mean like, uh, being very defiant, passionate, de defiant kind of energy here. 
But this, and you know, the King of Swords can also be um, somebody in the legal field, as in like a judge, a lawyer, advisor, or something like that. So maybe, you know, between the children now, this could be the lawyer. This could be, um, could even be a counselor. It could be just an advisor of some kind, maybe advising the family in this situation. The success and victory here of, you know, doing what's best, finding out the most practical solution that will benefit everybody. Um, and I don't, I don't want to make that sound that sound that way, but this is like the most successful way to, uh, go about this whole um, process and the eight of wands it's about communication action movement forward so I feel like if this is a lawyer or a legal person or a counselor it's going to do their best to bring what is deserved to everybody equally in some way and communicating that taking that action with the eight of wands buyer energy so there's the Sagittarius so maybe it could even be this illegal counsel of whoever this person is it could be a fire sign and this is just their energy letting me know to tell you that this clarifying this is someone of a legal uh, stature or counselor advisor or something like that I think feel like they do have your best interest the family's interest at heart they're doing everything they can to uh, bring balance and they're taking a lot of swift action in doing so. Wow. So let's get more clarity on this now. So we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Knight of Swords. So exactly, and this is the sword energy again with the Knight. And I felt like taking that action with the Eight of Wands with truth and clarity and doing everything they can to bring sort of like equal justice balance uh, to the whole situation. And this is the Ten of Cups. So this is the, the home and the family. Um, and, you know, that talks about fulfillment and happiness and joy in the happy home and family life. So I feel like this is probably a very, probably a very happy family. You know, you all connected as one. Very, um, you know, here holding hands here. So a very connected, loving, nurturing kind of family. And this person sees that. And they're doing everything they can to help to bring healing and balance and justice here with the Knight of Swords also into this situation, you Scorpio. They're taking that swift action as fast as they can to bring closure, to bring this situation, uh, I don't wanna say to an end, but um, I guess you could say that to an end as quickly as possible so that you can grieve and you can heal and you can mend and have closure of some kind. All right, so this is very specific in this reading and I don't get readings like this too often. So I feel like, definitely feel like this is really, really meant for somebody. And I do hope that whoever this is meant for, if you see this, you please, please leave a comment and let me know. Okay. Or if this, if it's not about somebody passing, it could be something else here that has to do with your family, where there is legal counsel involved that is really trying to bring justice, a harmony, peace, and balance, and closure to some sort of situation here. Uh, so I don't know how well that resonates for you. So what is the actual situation here for Scorpio? And those two wanted to jump. We have one more for Scorpio. It's very specific. All right, so let's see what we have. So we have the Queen of Swords. So now, now we have the King in the Queen of Swords. Wow. So you could even have um, like two people involved here of legal stature of some kind, or this is a uh, couple here with the King and Queen of Swords. Somebody might have been married. Um, what else do we have here? So we have the world and we have the four of wands. So again, here with the home and the family, the four of wands talks about a marriage. And we do have the king and queen of swords here. We have the world. So, and I had spoke of closure and the world is about closure, closing cycles. 
so new cycles can begin and it's about closure it's earth energy and we have air again we have fire wow so i definitely feel like here king and queen you could even have a married couple who is um lawyers or counseling or advisors or something helping the family in some way to bring closure and this is about the uh home and the family here uh with the four of wands so they're trying to bring stability back into the home situation here by bringing closure as swiftly as they can in this situation wow that couldn't get any more clearer and just clarifies everything I had just said here. Wow. All right, so let's get more clarity on that. So the lovers and the three of cups. So I definitely feel like here with the lovers, I mean, they definitely could be a married couple here, or this has to do with some sort of um, family situation, a couple situation here, or a married couple with the lovers here. But this is also about decisions. So I definitely feel like here, um, best interest at, at heart uh, here in this situation and making the decisions that are best for the family dynamic to bring closure, to bring the peace, the harmony, the balance into the situation like the best solution for everybody that everybody will be happy with kind of like they're the lover's energy and then you have the three of cups so you know this is about reuniting people coming together so i feel like here gathering like the family is gathering they're rejoicing they're selling if this is about somebody who's passed i feel like you're coming together you're remembering this person in a very good light in a very high vibration sharing loving uh, memories of this person just socializing and gathering and rejoicing and celebrating this person for the time that they were here with you on this planet. You could even be having like a um, like a celebration of life ceremony and having friends and family also. All right, so let's get. Um, Scorpio let's see if we can get some I feel like this is like a personal reading so I hope whoever this is meant for um, really gets to see it all right so I want to and I have to so I have the chariot and the ten so we have the ten of cups here twice and the chariot so the chariot speaks a positive movement forward of balance and harmony and um, going in a better direction here and we have the happy home and family life again with the ten of cups so i feel like again with the fast action movement forward of of making everybody happy in this situation because we have the ten of cups twice so i do feel like you know very close-knitted happy united family here that will stick together moving forward in this situation or there's a need to make sure that everybody sticks together and, and, and the whole family stays in this peaceful, loving connection moving forward. All right, so let's see. Uh, what else do we have here? So just, wow. Wow, justice and the high priestess. So, so you know, the justice here, and you know, this can speak of legal matters. Um doesn't have to be court, but it could be just, uh, you know, all the legalities of the situation, whatever it is for you. Balancing of the scales, truth and justice, and I had talked about that. Um, doing what is best, making everybody happy, bringing closure as swiftly and quickly as possible here. So, you know, justice will be served in all aspects in this situation. And the high priestess, so... Um, Maybe not really speaking, you know, because this is your advice, so maybe not really. The high priestess doesn't spill anything. They keep everything that they know to themselves. They're very intuitive, uh, connected to source, divine energy here. But they don't speak a lot. They keep their quiet. They keep to themselves. So it may be telling you here not to tell others exactly what's going on, what's happening, um, and 
in any situation here while this uh, closes out here for you, whatever this may be. All right, so let's get your possible outcome. What's the outcome in this situation? All right, so we have the Five of Swords. So your energy now. So the Five of Swords here is a feeling of, you know, you may need to get away. It talks about Five of Swords about having to get away from something. You don't really care how you do it, when you do it, how you do it, who you do it to. You just got to kind of get away, get ahead, and, you know, just about yourself. So you may feel like, you know, at the end of all this, you may need to get away on your own for a while while you uh, do some self-care and grief work. And that could be the leaving also. Just going out on your own for a while and just spending some time alone. And that could be the high priestess energy also of, you know, not really speaking to anybody, just keeping to yourself. All right, so let's clarify that card. So we have the Two of Cups and we have Temperance. So Sagittar this is Sagittarius energy. Two of Cups is your energy. So, you know, this could be just, uh, you know, this is people coming together, unity, partnership, seeing eye to eye, um, you know, peace and harmony between people, two people or more people, whatever here. So I feel like you're, you're going to need to, and this is about balance also, peace, harmony, balance, patience, uh, forgiveness kind of energy with the temperance. So I feel like you're really going to have to like realign yourself with the Two of Cups energy and you're probably going to need to just get away off on your own and you don't really care when you do it, how you do it after this comes to full closure. You just know for your own uh, peace of mind, uh, you need to get away and find your inner balance again, your self-love, your peace and harmony within yourself as you go through this grief work and self-care. And trying to find your balance again here because this all talks about peace harmony alignment either with yourself and balance so yeah you definitely probably will need to spend some time off on your own balancing yourself healing yourself wow or it's recommended that you do that and process the whole situation here and actually deal with it instead of holding it down inside that's not a good energy so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so death wow <laughs> i had a feeling this was going to show up i i spirit kept kept telling showing me the death card and it wasn't coming out and i said well maybe it's not going to come out and here you are scorpio at the end on the bottom of the deck so there could have been and i felt that energy here of an actual death of some kind and i hate to say that but this is what the cards are telling me but the death is here. It can be an actual death. Usually it's not. It's usually ending of a situation. It's not an actual death. I feel like here it's an ending of a very tough situation for you of some kind. Involves a big family here with a lot of children. But it's a very close-knitted family. But justice will prevail. Things will close out. Peace and harmony will be restored. You may need to spend time alone recuperating. But you will get justice in this situation, whatever it was for you. And here's the ending of a situation. And uh, transforming through that as you spend time alone here and transform, heal. The two of swords. So being indecisive and not sure what to do here. So I think maybe you're just going to feel like overwhelmed by everything going on here. And just very indecisive and like like it'll confuse your mind of like what n usually never confuses you in your day-to-day -day activities i feel like you're going to be so like discombobulated through this whole process that you're, you're going to feel like you do have a blindfold on and uh you're walking in circles maybe so now we have the knight of cups so that's your energy so you got to try to get through the day-to-day -day life here as best as you can and the most compassionate and ener loving energy that you can uh, moving forward through this. Six of Swords. So you will go and, you know, and heal yourself. And I feel like here you may decide to go alone somewhere near the water. 
Maybe it's very calming and peaceful for you. And, uh, you know, the Six of Swords does talk about going into a more balanced, healing, healing, healed place. So, you know, I definitely feel like here you will probably get over this or get through this. It'll take time and patience, as with temperance. And you will eventually heal and go into a better place. You know, the Fool talks about a brand new start, fresh start. So whatever this was, maybe for some of you, may be able to take a fresh new start now. Leap in with a whole new leap of faith. And going into a better place, healing. Trying to be as loving, compassionate as you can. Positive as you can, moving forward uh, through this whole thing here. But feeling kind of like confused and blind at times through this death and transformation, whatever it is for you. All right, so, okay, Scorpio. I'm getting, you know, a couple different messages here. For some of you, there's been some sort of actual passing here and it's going through the whole process. I feel a very close-knit family here trying to deal with this whole process. And you do have people helping you that do have the best interest at heart for you and your family that will bring the closure you need, that will bring the justice that everybody needs as quickly as they can. For some of you, you are ending a painful, tough situation here, but you will be fine within time. You will heal and mend and transform and balance yourself and you will get your justice. All right. What else? Ooh, okay. All right. So, yeah, look at that. We have emotional withdrawal and we have rest and rejuvenation. So, exactly. So we have the Four of Swords and we have the Eight of Cups. So I definitely feel like here, emotional withdrawal, you are going to need to get away off on your own by water. Double confirmation here to heal and mend and deal with this as best as you can. And there's the healing and the rest, the rejuvenating, uh, mending kind of energy. Double confirmation of that. Wow. Whatever your situation is here. All right. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? Okay, what do we have here? So we have, wow, four of pentacles, I believe. And this is the Three of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Wands. So we got the Three of Wands and we got the Four of Pentacles. So two fours here. So this is, you know, as you recoup, rejuvenate, rest, heal, mend, you will slowly but surely here regain your firm foundation and your stability with the Four of Pentacle energy. And then the Three of Wands, Partnerships. Nope, is this the Three of Wands? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Three of Wands. So, you know, it says Partnership and Alliances, but um, this usually talks about, um, you know, waiting. Waiting to go off on a new journey. You know, there's just a period of waiting before you can set off. Just let me make sure that is the Three of Wands because this deck is a little different. Yeah, that is the Three of Wands. So says partnership and alliances. So uh, definitely these, you know, there could be the, the alliances here as in legal counsel or something of that matter here. That could be just clarifying. You know, they do have your best interest at heart with firm foundation here and whatever they're doing for you, whatever alliance this is for you. But you will need to withdraw and go and rest and rejuvenate out on your own uh, after this closure. So now we have the four of wands. So we got the three and the four of wands. So again, with your foundation, your basis, your home, 
So again, you know, eventually you will regain, you know, stability and structure back into your life after this whole uh, turmoil situation, whatever it is for you. So, yeah. All right, Scorpio. So it looks like whatever uh, thing you're going through here, whether it is an actual passing of a person or just a really tough cycle you're going through, whether you're going through a really, you know, I don't know, bad divorce or there's something in the legal system where uh, it's coming to closure now. You know, I do see that things will be okay in time. You just need time and patience and healing. Justice, you know, people have your best interest at heart. You will get the justice you deserve. You know, the family involved also, very close-knit, stay in that close-knit uh, family energy. And in time, things will be fine for you, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check uh, the description box below for past playlists. There may be something there that may resonate for you more. I do consider them all timeless. So if you see a title that resonates for you, I'd say watch it anyway. And if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I love to read the comments also. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. Um, so I'm sending you much luck here in your situation, whatever it may be. I'm sending you lots and lots of light, love, and blessings and healing energy. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourself. And as hard as it may be, as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.